So this Sunday, we get one of the disciples, John, who says to Jesus, Lord, we saw somebody doing mighty deeds in your name and driving out demons, but because he doesn't follow us, we tried to stop him from doing that. And Jesus looks at John and says, don't stop. Anybody who's doing mighty works in my name can't at the same time be speaking ill of me. So what I grab from that is that we need to be less concerned about what everybody else is doing and be much more concerned about doing mighty deeds in his name. That's where the joy is found. This weekend we are, we are gathering with Archbishop Sample and we're launching a, a big fundraising event for our seminarians, which has me thinking about just you know, the role that moves from the seminarian to priest to senior status priest. And I was sitting there and I'm thinking about my own journey and I'm remembering that night right before ordination after going to Vespers with my family and Archbishop Glasney. All of a sudden walking in the door and having Father Terry and Father Jim Clifford sitting in the living room and they were discussing things and they looked like they were having a heated discussion about something, probably fixing the church. And they looked at me and they were like smiling and I just thought that, you know, they're probably judging me about my joy and my excitedness. And I just looked at them and I said, I know you guys are probably going to tell me that I'm going to lose my joy at some point. To which Father Jim Clifford looked at me very seriously and said, if you lose your joy, that's on you. That will be on you. Because I've been a priest for over 25 years, and I still love being a priest, and I still have my joy. It's just about serving Him and continuing to be more focused on doing mighty things in His name. And so, happily, after 14 years, the joy still exists. So, Let's just stay focused on what we need to be focused on and let our God be our God.